Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Medical Terminology Lesson 3. Today, we will build on Lessons 1 and 2 to dive deeper into medical conditions and processes. By the end, you will have practical knowledge and practice breaking down complex medical terms. Let's get started. Let's start with condition modifiers. For example, anti means opposed to, like in anti-inflammatory drugs, which counteract inflammation. On the other hand, pro can mean before, as in progenitor cells, or promoting, like pro-inflammatory processes causing inflammation. Next, we have location modifiers. A simple example is centra, which relates to the center. Think of a centrifuge that separates materials toward the center of rotation. Cellular modifiers describe specific cell functions. For instance, fibro refers to fibers, like fibroblasts in connective tissue. Thrombo relates to clots, such as thrombosis. Blasto means stem cells, while clast indicates degradation, like osteoclasts absorbing bone tissue. Let's break down these process modifiers. Phago means eating or consuming. A common example is dysphagia, where dis means difficulty or problem, and phagia refers to eating or swallowing. Dysphagia describes difficulty swallowing, which can occur due to conditions like a stroke or esophageal disorders. Dipsia refers to drinking. An example is polydipsia, where poly means excessive and dipsia refers to drinking. Polydipsia is excessive thirst, commonly associated with diabetes or dehydration. Pepsia means digestion. For instance, dyspepsia, where dis means difficulty or impaired, and pepsia refers to digestion. Dyspepsia describes indigestion or discomfort in the upper abdomen, often due to acid reflux or ulcers. Mesis means vomiting. An example is hematemesis, where hema means blood, and emesis refers to vomiting. Hematemesis describes the vomiting of blood, often due to gastrointestinal bleeding or ulcers. Urea refers to urination, for example, polyuria, where poly means excessive, and urea refers to urination. Polyuria describes excessive urination, often seen in conditions like diabetes, mellitus, or diabetes insipidus. Process modifiers often describe specific conditions. For instance, pyro relates to fever, as in pyrexia. Noso refers to disease, such as nosocomial infections acquired in hospitals. Steno means narrowing, like spinal stenosis. In summary, understanding condition and process modifiers is key to mastering medical terminology. With practice, breaking down complex terms will become second nature. Thank you for completing this lesson.